Hey there, it's JP1970, and I want to talk to you today about the ultimate GoPro case. So let's say you got yourself a couple of GoPros, and you got all this stuff, and you're lugging it around in a backpack. You got tripods, and you got sticks, and you got, you got another case, and you just got all this stuff, and it's just a mess. I got the solution for you. It's right here. This is the Apache 3800 case from Harbor Freight. We're going to take a closer look at it and see why it is the ultimate GoPro case. Okay, so taking a closer look, again, this is the Apache 3800 case from Harbor Freight. It's weatherproof, it's dustproof, it's impact resistant, it's good for camera equipment, electronics. It's definitely going to be good for your GoPro. Let me go ahead and adjust this just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at it from the outside. It is nice and hard plastic, very durable. If moisture were to get into it, it has this setting. I don't think that's gonna be really that helpful in this case. You better not get moisture in it. But this case, it retails for $40 at Harbor Freight compared to say a Pelican case, that's $120. So the case has these two latches right here. It is, and it is lockable. You have these locks right here or these places to put a padlock if you wanted to. So we'll go ahead and undo these latches and we open it up. And what you find is it already has this nice padding inside the case to protect your GoPros. And this is actually uh, kind of break apart foam and you can set it up however you like so you want to set your uh, you, you know carry your GoPros in here carry your accessories carry your tripods so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this up for my GoPro 9 and my GoPro 7 so what I recommend is figure out the accessories that you're going to want to use in your case like for example i have these i have two different tripods that i'm going to put into this case you want to check it for depth and just kind of figure out what you're going to do in terms of how deep you want to go i think because we, we have uh, we have another one underneath in the case here we actually have two more i think i'm going to go all the way through this layer and then with the padding in the lid, I think we're gonna be okay. With this padding, I think it should be all right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda get an idea of how I want this to be. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this here. I, don't, I like to not do it too close to the edges. So I'm gonna kinda give myself a little room there. And then I'm gonna take some masking tape and I'm gonna kinda give myself uh, just kind of an outline here, just kind of an idea. Let me pull this in, see how tight I can get it. Okay, now I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to do something like that. And then I'm going to do something across the bottom here. and across the top. Again, I want it to be, I want it to be, you know, I want it to fit in there snugly. Snugly. I want it to be snug in there. So then I'm gonna do another one, my other uh, tripod. I think I'm gonna do that one, kind of like that. And then I have, this case, this is actually recycled foam that came with my GoPro 9, and I like it. I want to reuse it, so I'm going to put that there. So that's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and kind of map this out, kind of like I did this one, and I'll check back in just a few minutes. Okay, so now what we have here is I've gone ahead and I've mapped out tripod one, tripod two, and then my little case, and I'm gonna set these aside now. And 
it's time to do the break apart. And this can be the tricky part. So just take your time and, uh, and don't rush this. We'll go ahead and pull this out and just kind of feel, see how that, see how that kind of has a little break apart there. So just kind of run your, your finger over it and see where you're wanting to, yeah, it starts to kind of break apart there. And this does come, it's, it's in layers. So I'm gonna just kind of be gentle with it. And I'm just gonna take it out one layer at a time, hopefully. Okay, so through right there, okay. Okay, there's our first one. So now we have, that one has gone all the way through. And here's the extra foam. So let's put it back in the case and let's check it and see what we think. Okay, so here is the tripod that I wanna put in this little spot. Have that up top. Okay, so as you can see, what I've done is I've broken out the, the pull apart foam padding and here is my tripod. And it, it leaves just a, I just did one strip here, as you can see. And it, for me, what I think it does is it gives it a nice tight fit, which, you know, remember you can always go bigger, but once you do this, you can't go back and go smaller. So I kind of like that. I like it fitting in there snug. So now I'm gonna do the next one. And the next one is going to be for this tripod. So, so what you do again is you just kind of get a feel for it. And you just kind of, it already, it wants to pull apart. And the temptation, you might want to rush a little bit, but I encourage you to just kind of slow down and take your time with this. Again, I, I just want to get out two rows with this one. And there we go. Just kind of pull that apart. So there are my two that I want to take out and I want to go down to about right there. So now we have our next tripod hole cut out here. Okay, so I'm going to remove that. And now I'm going to take this tripod and, and it fits in there now. What we're going to have to do a little bit differently on this one is... As you can see, I've got this right here. So I'm just going to have to, I'm just gonna kind of push that down again. Right here. Okay, so we're gonna take that out. Let's check that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now look at that. So again, it's fitting nice and tight. So we've got this tripod here. We've got this tripod. Now I'm going to do this little case and we're almost done. So there we go. We have that one now out and I'm going to take this case, notice that this is a little bit smaller than the whole thing. So now I'm going to put that in there and it sits a little bit taller, but I do believe kind of here, I'm like, okay, so now we pull this out and just kind of work that down 
work that down in there. Get that on as snugly as we can. Again, snugly is probably not a real word, but it seems to fit here. Okay, so now we put this back in. So now we have, this is our GoPro case. We have our tripod here and let's check this out for fitment. So uh, this is where the GoPro 9 will go. And then this little area here, uh, I found out that my GoPro 7 will fit here nicely. And then if you have a couple of extra little accessories, you can toss those in there. And so now, put that in there. And then what I may end up doing is actually removing, um, because I do like the way this worked out. So I may do something similar here with this one by taking out But, there we go. So now we put that one in there. And now what we have is we have our new and improved GoPro storage case. This is the Harbor Freight 3800. And it's gonna be the perfect GoPro storage case. I'll put links in the description down below where you can get yours. Thanks for checking out this video, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next one.